Hello and thanks for watching this uh, video on some of the new things in QuickBooks 2014 Pro Premier and Enterprise. This video is going to focus on the home page customization options that are new as well as some customization options with QuickBooks email. So you remember last year with 2013 R1 release there was a lot of dark gray right and some just people didn't want the dark gray uh, on the left navigation panel on the top icon bar etc so even when i come into the my desktop view and my preferences and go back to dark gray the top icon bar is now dark blue actually and you can color code your company files this was actually an r6 release with 2013 but in 2014 if you just had 12 or 11 just so you know what it looks like so i'm going to change this just to kind of a a uh, blue gray if you will I can also switch the top icon bar to colored icon bars if I want to so a lighter if you will it's it's similar to what it used to be say in 2012 I'm going to go ahead and put it back to the dark blue though right now click OK also under the view menu I can go to the left uh, icon bar left navigation panel which is also a dark blue a lot easier uh, to see and view versus the dark gray I find particularly with the contrast of the uh, light gray font you know of your options Another thing too is you can customize the actual shortcuts, just like last year, but I can customize the actual balances that show up on in the view balances window. That's something also to mention. You can have different types of actual accounts there as well on the left navigation panel. That customized view balances has nothing to do with the balances over on the home page. Let me just go back to the top icon bar for a second and we'll go to home. It doesn't have anything to do with these balances uh, over here. So um, it's really if you're using the left navigation panel. And again, where you want to make these changes, depending on how you want to view it. A lot of people like the top icon bar. You can literally go back to this view uh, just by clicking switch to colored. And then, of course, you can color code company files. Right Now, those two things, like I said, are more uh, later releases in 2013. But again, 2014 will have that as well. And, and the big difference is just that from dark gray kind of the dismal gray to a dark blue which is just a lot easier on the eyes now let's talk about emails all right you've always been able to send out forms from QuickBooks for a long time um, and if you go to company preferences now you have the ability to create your own templates that you'd like to send out so before it was just you know for all of these templates you're going to email out of QuickBooks it was really one standard and you could still edit it but you know you want to we now are giving you the ability to actually create your own uh, templates and this is in pro premier and enterprise solutions so i have a basic invoice here i'll just go ahead and edit that just so you can see what it looks like and uh, you, you can change the language and i can also insert fields here right? so and more changes to come let me go into the current invoice i actually did insert uh, the due date field and where that comes into play is when i go ahead to file send forms and I'm just going to change it from current to you know basic actually it's on the current invoice you see you know, your invoice due date is so based on the due date on the invoice it'll be there so there's a lot of fields that you can go ahead and, and insert um, on there and I'll go back just in case I went too fast let me go back to the preference there again edit preferences send forms company preferences and then when you're actually editing a particular template here's the fields that you can insert so more to come from this later also let me go to an actual transaction <clears throat> when you have an attachment on an invoice because we know that you know you can attach documents to invoices in quickbooks that's been around for at least since 2010 really and now we have the doc center so when i do attach a document i'll just pick one from my uh, computer if you will there we go when I attach a document to a bill, an invoice, a check, or what have you, when I go to email, I can now invoice in it, and it'll also email the invoice with that template that I've already created, plus it'll attach the attachment that's on the actual transaction. And not only can you do it from the transaction itself, but when I go back to File, Send Forms, I can also click the Attach button here, and it'll go out and grab an attachment. So from, from both places, can you do that? So those are some of the customiz customization options really that are new uh, with QuickBooks 2014, the, the sending forms, so emailing forms out of QuickBooks, and of course the homepage, however you want to do it. I, I was really 
primarily a top icon bar user forever. Uh, again, I'm not a fan of dark gray. So now I, I like the left icon panel um, and uh, I just kind of minimize it, right? Just like you could last year, but it's just a much more appealing and I find user friendly uh, color. So check the website uh, back uh, later on for more videos regarding 2014. Hope that was helpful. Have a great day.